Monday, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our weekly Google Chrome security updates that are now rolling out. And this week, it's important to double check your browsers up to date because we are dealing with a zero day that's been exploited in the wild that Google has rolled out a security fix for. So as always, to double check, we head to our main menu, help, about Google Chrome. And after this update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 136.0.7103.113 or 114. Either or, running Windows, Mac, and Linux on version 136 means your browser is fully patched and up to date. Now we get four security fixes rolling out this week, and they are all high severity. And first of all, we get a high severity flaw, which is listed as incorrect handle provided in unspecified circumstances in Mojo. And then there is a CVE 20254664, which Google says it is aware of reports that an exploit for that CVE exists in the wild, which means the exploit is out there, it's current, it's happening, and it's active. So it's very important to double check that your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense. Now, the zero day is listed as insufficient policy enforcement in loader. And just a little bit more information regarding that flaw. Insufficient policy enforcement in loader in Google Chrome prior to this update allowed a remote attacker to leak cross-origin data via a crafted HTML page. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but at the end of the day, all you need to know is double-check your browsers up to date. Make sure you're on the point 113 or 114 on Mac, Windows, and Linux, which means that version 136 will be fully patched and up to date. So, because these security fixes are rolling out to Google Chrome, and we are dealing with a zero day, I'm sure that... Over the next day or so, that Brave, Edge, and Vivaldi will get more or less the same security patch that is running out because of that zero day to patch those browsers because those are all Chromium-based web browsers, as you may well know. And the only one that won't be affected is Firefox because it is not a Chromium-based web browser. And once again, with all the little updates that rolled out to the browsers, I have had a quick look around and I'm not noticing any new tweaks or adjustments when it comes to front-facing features that this update has introduced. Just a security patch addressing that high severity flaw which has been exploited in the wild. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.